All right, so here we are in the Ferrari 458 Italia, a famous vehicle. Trying something a little bit different now. We're going to be inside the car driving like a normal person. And here we are. Few contenders on this track. We mostly have a McLaren to fight against, but the rest should be pretty easy pickings for us. Just want to go slowly around this curb because as you can see right there, cars tend to want to take their place and collect us in the process. So, not that it's entirely fair, but we'll just make sure that we can take up that space. Of course, I think in real life, on the first lap, they would probably want to stay a little closer to the near edge of the track. But here we go, making sure that we keep everything balanced and clear of the vehicle ahead of us as we go through Rouge and then Redzillon and take this straight. Our speed advantage is very clear. I'm gonna brake slowly here. Make sure not to overextend our tires. Clearly our tires are cold and the person behind us wants to get ahead of us as quickly as they can, but we will try to forbid it and the process of doing so. Eat a little bit of time in our speed, but we just don't want additional difficulty. Here, controlling our turn in with the throttle, keeping it under control, extending the track as far as possible, braking early, making sure that we hit that apex, and then taking it quickly for the next couple of turns. Tires are warming up. We're gonna make sure that we don't overextend ourselves here. Just making sure that we keep our speeds. I would rather go more slowly but reasonably than too quickly and go outside of the bounds of the track which is a rather dangerous thing to do, as I just prove it right now. All right. Tires are still warming up. I think we're looking good. Could have gone a little faster through there, probably missed the shift a little bit. So keep that in mind, make sure that we shift early enough. A little bit of oversteer here. I did notice that uh, if you're not careful to the oversteer on this car, it will bite you. So, but it has phenomenal brakes. It has good acceleration. It just, it uh, doesn't have a ton of downforce, so you just have to be careful. It's kind of like handling a tank with a very extremely powerful engine behind you. And uh, a, a generally light feeling and nibble chassis, I would say. So let's try to keep it inside the bounds of the track here. We're adjusting our throttle and our braking. To kind of try to <laughs> mostly keep it on track here. And uh, as you can see, we're on a very low gear at the moment. But that is just fine. I just don't want to extend my speed as I probably break a little early there. And there we are on the exit. With all the speed that we need. I think we lost maybe a little bit of time to the person behind us. Still doing quite well. Here in the braking zone, have we overextended? Maybe a little bit, we had to brake very hard near the end and we lose a lot of momentum there. That means we're kind of losing on this part of track. But, I know that we'll get ahead on this long straight, because this straight favors our vehicle, which is extremely quick. So we're just going to aim for that apex there. Slow ourselves down until we reach the rubber marks on the middle of the road. Cut that corner as much as we are allowed to within limits. And then keep on going. We have a good speed going on for us right now. I can't exactly read the speedometer, but we're going in the... Hundreds of kilometers, hundreds of kilometers for sure. Taking this curb a little bit more slowly than we did last time should help us on acceleration. Let's keep moving. Downshift along this curb that we didn't do last time. Take the apex a little bit better. Now that the tires are warmer, I have more confidence in what I'm doing. And our brakes are definitely helping as well. Since the tires are warm, they're able to adhere to the road's surface. Let's not oversteer. Gonna brake a little early and take that curb just right, I would say. Maybe could have been a bit quicker, but it's it's just fine for what I need. Right around this marker, we're gonna brake here, keep our foot on the brake, adjust our turning speed with the throttle, just extending the speed of the track by making the tires work as much as we can and wait until the last moment. You can't apex late enough. So here again, controlling our speed, making sure that we don't oversteer or understeer. What did I just say? Let's not oversteer. There's not a drift track. 
We definitely don't have the steering capabilities to keep our car- Oh dear! To keep our car on the track! On my word! Okay, so this Lotus uh, definitely kind of pegged us there. We're still ahead of him, somehow. We definitely shouldn't be. But at least we were skillful enough to keep it on track, which is always a good thing. I was hoping to keep up with the Lotus and I believe McLaren ahead. But it seems like we've pretty much pegged our position to this point here. So we're just going to maintain our speed here, make sure we kind of stay more in balance than we did last time. Trying to figure out our break point here. I think that looked about right. And uh, as he attempted to overtake us, yet was completely unable to, he braked late. So that should help us to gain the lead on that guy. And let's break around here. Okay, I can definitely downshift quite quickly in this car, which is very nice. I definitely love the Italian motor in this uh, vehicle. Very suitable to this car. It revs high, you can hear the sound of it. Mm. Very nice sound, better than the SLK def for sure. Okay, so braking a little earlier helps, good to know. And we definitely stayed on track with that one. I like the turn in for that curb. Quite easy to do once you know exactly what to do. You just aim for that apex there and brake at the same time and then come out of the curb. Okay, so at the, after the 200 marker, we're going to slow down gradually. Keep it under the control. And then accelerate out of the curb here. Okay, a little bit too far on that one. We still managed to keep it on track, which is always better than getting it in the sand. Which is quite a bunker. It's difficult to <laughs> get out of afterwards. Okay, we slowed down a bit too early here, which helps the Lotus catch up to us. And now we're in a kind of a three-way race with each other. We being the first guys ahead, and them being those who are trying to attack us. Oh, a bit of an oversteer moment there. And we still see the Lotus in front of us, but it's definitely gotten a little further than it was originally. So we're trying to close that gap but you know I think that in the number of laps that we have left that's not going to be possible it's much better to stay on track and not um, overextend our abilities than to try to do something crazy and to get off track and to completely lose the race so we're going to go uh, a little bit slow and steady here uh, as we tend to oversteer in this turn difficult turn for us to make lacking a bit of downforce in that region I would say be nice to have downforce on this car and we hear the Lotus is a lot more agile uh, along this sector, I would say. So probably just because of the weight difference of the vehicles, it's able to gain some time behind us in the curves, and then it quickly loses to us once we're in a straight line, which is an interesting phenomenon. So here we go, a little bit of a lift there to be sure we make it around the curve. We're even going to downshift around here and overextend the track. <laughs> Happily the stewards, we're not looking, so we continue. And we're going to break around this first or second marker around there. Make sure that we make it around the track. And again, the Lotus is able to break a lot later than we can. Second gear pull to the finish line, I believe. Or uh, to the last lap, that is. So we are in, third, in fourth place, which is okay. Though not ideal. I should probably have made it to a better position ideally third place but we don't seem to quite have the time to be able to do it in this scenario those sparks are quite the thing um, I've <laughs> I've gotten the uh, shader improvements from the content manager instead of course content manager that you can get online from a different website and uh, it has interesting improvements. I think it generally uh, makes the look of the... I don't know if it makes the look more realistic, but it makes it more agreeable to look at, I think. And um, some of the uh, effects, the uh, particle effects, like the sparks, definitely look a lot nicer. Um, the particle effects of the dirt as well are a lot prettier than the original effects, so I definitely recommend it for that. And I think the sun is another improvement. The morning sun looks a lot prettier under this shaders, set of shaders, than the previous shaders that are stocked with the Seto Corsa. Here we go. 
We seem to be doing not too badly in terms of pace, but uh, definitely lagging a bit behind what we could be doing. As we can see, we haven't gained or lost with a car ahead of us since the previous lap, which is always good. Not to have lost to him, but uh, definitely wish I could gain a little more because I can feel the pressure behind me. Oh, as we uh, struggle to maintain our place on track. So I think we braked at the right moment there. I'm just gonna, oh dear me. I just really don't want to oversteer because it's not going to be recuperable. So <clears throat> I wanna make sure I'm prudent around there and don't cut corners if we can so pretend to do. And I think this is different. I enjoy um, using the stock shifter in the car instead of using the graphic which is uh, more akin to what you would do in a real car. I mean, you can also look at the, uh, what is it called, the man manometer or, uh, how could I forget that? The, uh, what indicates the, the RPM reader thing? Yeah. Breaking very hard here on the last turn. We're gonna go to first gear for a instantaneous Pull, and there we go. This is the last lap of spa Francorchamps, fourth place. A great race with much adventure. <laughs>